Welcome back to the channel. I'm here at it's Wednesday. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Impressive. It's a beautiful, you don't even know if it's day or night in this motherfucker, but it's a nice day outside, trust me. Um, the GTR is here, obviously. I don't know how much you guys know why it's here, but it is getting clear broad. The whole car. Um, so, yeah. Top to bottom, bumper, hood, fenders, the roof, the door, the quarter, the whole fucking car, I want it clear broad, uh, just because, so I won't trip out when it's like parked somewhere and someone's, you know, put their hands on it or whatever, and it's just to protect the paint since I got it paint corrected. So uh, the whole car is getting clear broad and it's gonna be done in a couple days. Uh, there's an event that I'm gonna go to. In fact, I'm gonna drive it because it just got titled. So uh, perfect timing. The car is titled. So, we were talking about the intercooler being too high. And daddy don't like. So, we're gonna add these shims to make it lower. So it sits a little bit lower. And that's basically it. Oh yeah, and brake pads. Where are those? Uh, oh my ass. Nice. So yeah. <clears throat> There's a SR20 what? stroke. Ford. It's a fucking Warhog engine. Mm hmm. Man, this is an ugly ass engine bay. No, 2 jz is better. <laughs> HKS. Hong Kong Superstar? That's a big ass dick. A what? Huh? What'd well, you say, Greg? Oh, shit. What'd you say? I didn't say anything. Get the didn't camera out of my face. Did you ever play you? Didn't, yeah, didn't you say something though? Yeah, I did say something. What'd you say? I said Exodia's big ass dick is the seventh piece. Yeah. It's seventh it's piece of seventh what? Card. Is it? You need six cards to build Exodia, but everyone forgets his fat cock, which is the seventh. What about Bahamut, dude? See, maybe you played a different game because you grew up somewhere else, you know? It's Final Fantasy, dude. I never played Final Fantasy. All right. Not real, man. Speaking of Final Fantasy, this is a cool GT3, you guys. It's manual. Who gives a fuck? You guys want to see some rice or shit? Look at Cameron's fucking Venador. Actually, this is cool. The front fenders are sick. This is a whole body kit replacement. So you pretty much rip everything off and throw everything back on. Yeah, I like that. You see the carbon fiber door? What do you mean? The whole door is a replacement? Yeah, replacement door. <laughs> That's crazy. So, how much is this kit? Retail. Probably like 150. That's insane. Yeah. $150,000 kit, and it looks like it fits perfect. But it's, it's just crazy because, fucking, the only thing you use is just the headlights, mirror, and the roof glass. That's pretty cool. So you can buy like a totaled one or like a salvage one and just put this kit on it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I, so far, let's go over this kit. I like this. These should be carbon, but that's fine. For 150 grand, this shit should be carbon, but it's all good. All this shit should be carbon for 150 grand, yeah. in, in my opinion, but it's cool. These should be functional like the SVJ, in my opinion. Is the front clear? Like anything on the under the, under the bumper so I can slam it? No, slam it. Dad, that's a good moan. <laughs> Brian's good at it. Anyway, this is my take on the kit. First of all, it looks sick. I think it looks dope, but here's the thing. That should be functional. All the black shit should be carbon. This should be functional like the SVJ because that's what they're going for. It should be carbon, but that should be carbon. The door is carbon, that's cool. Um, <laughs> this wing's kind of trippy. Yeah, saggy balls, smiley face. But yeah, all the black stuff should have been carbon, but 
It's pretty sick. So it's pretty sick. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, there's no like OEM GT3 style kits for these cars. They never made it. So, I mean, you got to kind of have to go crazy or go OEM. So what do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you guys would fuck Greg in the app. Greg or Brian. To, let me know who you guys want. Vote for Greg. You're single, right, Greg? Single turbo. Oh. Single turbo. You're single turbo, right? Single turd. Single turd. You're single you're you're single turbo, but you're not single. Oh. This is the first 997 RWB in the US, right? Yes sir. Nakai did could not obviously come down to build this, so Brian did it. And, and some help with LTMW. Yeah, and LT, but Brian basically did it all. Um, it's sick. I don't mind. No. <laughs> don't mind, V-Tech. Um, but yeah, this is actually sick. I actually like this color a lot. It, it reminds me of like Grigio-ish, like bubbly fucking um, like Laguna Seca blue, like that type of... Yeah, some bullshit. It's pretty sick. I like it. BB8? It's pretty nice. But I'm over a 997 game. I killed that shit like 10 years ago, so, but it's still sick. I like it. Once again, tell me if you guys want to fuck Greg in the ass in the comments, okay? How many pumps will it take? Huh? How many pumps will it take? Greg, you have a hairy asshole or no? Uh, fucking forest over there. Ah, oh, dude, no one's. No, no one's gonna come. Do you have a, like a bidet at home or like wet wipes? Oh, fuck. Wow! Wow! This is sick. They're overpriced. It's first time seeing one, so. They look dope, huh? So, is Super Trapeo evil that hood? They base it off and then put on the SEO? No. This is a completely different hood. Well, the hood looks kind of similar. Yeah, it looks kind of similar, but it's it's not. Wow, this car is really sick. It looks funky because, like, yeah, it's, it's like it's almost like a little cartoon. It's like a fucking catfish and shit. It looks sick though. Yeah, tell me what you guys think about the STO. They're hella overpriced right now, but badass. Oh, damn little bucket seats. Carbon buckets? STO, damn, it smells good. Look at this. Yeah, this is sick, bro. Yeah, this is badass. I don't like the open stuff here on the wing. Damn, it's fucking dope. Look at those quick locks, they're like different now. Yeah. This is badass, dude. We're done here. Good morning, guys. Coffee here. I'm over here at my friends. Um, Pit and Paddock Cars and Coffee at Brecky. This Cars and Coffee is very special <clears throat> because my friend's throwing it at Pit and Paddock and my friends at Be Brecky. But it's invite only to like some of the sickest cars. It's like the top SEMA build and some other personal sick cars uh, of friends and stuff. I'm gonna go over and show you all these like really, really unique builds. Um, so yeah, this is the turn 14 E-Class. He's got a motor swap in it. I'll show you guys in a second when he pops it. Obviously we got the GTR over here with the 400R over a million dollar car that sold at SEMA. This S2000 right now, look, do you hear any? No motor, it's electric. This is the homie Daniels. Wide body model three. Okay. So let's look at this S2000. Fully electric S2000. Rye wire in turn 14. So sick. Oh, you rock it down. That's so cool, man. It's really fucking cool. This is obviously a badass drift car. Sick. One J, one Jay Z. 
Sick out. These cars are so sick. Look at this thing. their hoods and shit. I'll show you guys some more. Alright guys, remember <clears throat> I showed you guys the bootleg ass <clears throat> bootleg fresh kicks? I told you the bootleg fresh kicks. Hold on, hold up. This is not the bootleg, this is the real. Authentic. Authentic. The bootleg fresh kick. Can you guys get together please? We don't look alike, bro. We don't, we don't, but... Look at that. This is a beer, this is a beer. You guys look like alike, man. Well, not really, but... Similar. We look alike, you look like Tom Cruise. First of all, you tagged me in some some shit that I'm like, I don't look anything like that. No, you definitely look like the guy in the car I got pulled over for sure, hundred percent. Bro, that guy had like a chisel lineup, like no, weird. Real quick, like yeah, that's Mark. Look to the side for a second. Come on, bro. You get so it? Everybody that's light with a beard. You look like me. Boot like fresh kicks. That's it. That's all you guys got. This is a two-step competition. Look at this fucking thing. Look at this. So fuck this. guys I'm in the garage you know what that means I didn't record a proper outro video <laughs> uh, I gotta start getting used to that um, if it's one thing that I learned about these vlogs or these episodes it's have an intro have an outro so uh, because I don't have an outro that was dated to this video I'll give you a live date this is today December 2nd uh, so I'll give you a live 
this isn't really live, but I'll give you a true update of what's going on and what to look forward for the next video. First of all, to end that gearhead uh, uh, society uh, meet and show that I was at, thank you so much. Uh, much love to Supercar Suspects. Chris, he's a homie um, for having me in his booth and stuff like that. I ended up taking Best of Show uh, for the R34. Pretty cool just to add to the other trophies uh, that I have over there. But it really does mean a lot. I don't just take this and throw it away. I like, I truly cherish this stuff. But, um, but yeah, so uh, next video, um, we have a couple more R34 stuff. Right now, what's going on is I'm waiting for Precision to send me the big fatty turbo for the Supra. I ordered it like a week ago. So it's coming, it's on the way. As soon as it gets here, we're gonna throw that bitch on and we are going to break the world record. I am guaranteeing that. So I need you guys. I can do my own research. I'm gonna ask Instagram, but I truly, truly, truly want you guys, if you have time, if you're sitting around bored, whatever, searching whatever, porn or whatever on the internet, after you've done, after you finish climaxing, do me a favor, look up the highest horsepower MK5 and just shoot it in the comments or DM me on IG or something because I need something on record to go off of. I don't know what I'm supposed to beat. Right now I'm just going off of, okay, I think someone made right under 1100 wheel. I don't know what kind of dyno it was on. I don't know what the, uh, et cetera. So I want documented the highest wheel horsepower MK5 so I could try to beat it. Uh, again, the precision turbo is gonna come in like, let's say like another seven to eight days. Once it comes, it's gonna take one day to put it on. It'll take one more day to polish it and then we'll go from there. Um, but yeah, uh, once again, much love to you guys. Uh, we got 20K subscribers already. It took a year. Uh, I know this is gonna be a long and slow, slow and long grind, but I am very, very happy um, that I'm finally getting to pursue my passion in a way that, yeah, my passion's always been building cars, but uh, I'm a people person and I love interacting with people, I'm a public speaker and things like that. So this is a way for me to kind of show you guys what's in my mind and interacting with you guys in this way. You guys can kind of see how goofy I am and uh, whatever, I mean, whatever you guys think of me, this is exactly how I am. I'm not, no smoke and mirrors, no bullshit with me. This is it. So um, again, thank you guys uh, for always supporting. Uh, if you guys can like and subscribe and comment and all that other bullshit, it'll really help me out. But other than that, much love, peace, see you guys in the next video.